YouTube channel. Okay, in this video, we are going to learn about food. Yes, our 70th lesson, Nutrients in Food. So, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the nutrients. What are the main nutrients in food? And what are the sources of these nutrients? And what are the function of these nutrients? And also, at the end of the lesson, we are going to identify some food using some experiments. Okay, now come to the lesson. You know, food is essential for our existence of life. Okay, turn to page number 86. There is a table. The table shows the diet taken by a student of grade 7 for during 3 days. You know, in our day to day life, we are taking different types of food for our diet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, in this table, for the breakfast, he has taken different types of food. On Wednesday, string hoppers, milk, dal with coconut sambal and another day a glass of milk bread with kirihodi then friday rice fish coconut sambal with kirihodi so different types of food then look at lunch column rice green gram seeds fried dry fish a fruit then another day Rice, dal, fried potato, and palamel. That means leaves. Then, what are the dinner dinner items? Roti with lunamilis and tapo. Noodles, potato curry, egg with mango. Rice, fish, vegetable salad, rufa, and banana. So, you know, in your day to day life, you are taking different types of food items for breakfast, lunch, and Dinner. So, in this food, there are different types of nutrients. There are mainly five nutrients. Main nutrients. There are one, two, three, four, five. What are the main nutrients in our food? Carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, vitamins and minerals. So, these are the five main nutrients in our food. And also, we have to take water and fiber. We have to take more water, you know. We have to take more water every day. And also, we have to take fiber. Okay, let's go to see what are the food contain these types of nutrients. First nutrient, it is carbohydrates. So, carbohydrates are in the form of sugar and starch. We take carbohydrates in the form of sugar and starch. So you should know what is the function of these carbohydrates. Give energy. Main function is give energy for our body. We need energy to do our day to day activities. So we can take energy by eating more carbohydrates. Normally we are eating uh, more carbohydrate in our diets. Look at the food items which are rich in carbohydrates rice, bread, bread and buns, noodles, hoppers and string hoppers, sugar, potato, breadfruit, jack. These are the food items which, which are rich in carbohydrates. You can find what are the what are the other food items contain carbohydrates, high which are rich in carbohydrates. And you can write the examples. Okay. Second main nutrient it is proteins. So we can take proteins from animal food and also we can take from plant food. Then what is the function, main function of proteins? Growth. Yes. For growing of our body, we need proteins. Growth of our body. Then Repair. For repairing of, of our body, we need proteins. That means, think we are getting injured. After getting injured, our cells will damage. 
then for the repairing of that cell we need proteins for growth and repairing we need proteins so what are the food items which are rich in proteins fish meat eggs and milk these are the food items rich in protein these are the animal food items which are rich in proteins fish meat eggs and milk so here dal soybeans green beans mostly beans contain proteins more proteins then mushroom these are the plant food which are rich in protein so animal food and also plant food contain protein lipids so lipids we can found as fats and oils fats and oils need lipids okay what is the function of these lipids it contain high amount of energy when we get uh, the food which contain more lipid we can take high amount of energy to our body okay oils are uh, liquid in nature do you know what are the oils oils mean thin so oils are liquid in nature coconut oils olive oils there are so many types of oils they are liquid in nature and we can found abundantly in plants and what are the fats fats are solid in nature normally solid in nature and abundant in animals okay now we we can see what are the food items which contain which are rich in lipids mostly butter egg yolk coconut ginger coconut milk coconut oil and ginger we can uh, make ginger ginger oil then curd curd contain more lipids and other than this one meat contain more lipids you can find out what are the examples for food which which are rich in lipids look at the assignment 17.1 what is the advantage of having storage of large amount of body lipids in animals like camel and polar bear so what are the advantages of having large amount of body lipids in their body camel and polar bear so let us take first camel you know there is a hump in the camel you know camels hump so this camels hump stores fat stores fat camels hump stores fat so there are some period the food is scarce so they can use these fat as a nourishment they can use that stored fat then polar bear the polar bear you see polar regions you know those regions are well called polar stadias so the polar bear need a protection to warm their body so there is a fat layer under the skin that's a thick fat layer thick fat layer under their skin so this fat layer keep warm their body and also they can take energy from this stored fat in their slow hunting periods there are some slow hunting periods in polar bears they can take energy from these stored fats and also they can warm their body okay next nutrients are vitamins and minerals so they are requiring small amounts they are requiring small amounts for our body but they are essential essential for our growth that mean our body they are essential but requiring small amount so what are the functions of these vitamins and minerals they protect the body from the diseases they protect our body from the diseases so they maintain our body health that means they maintain our body health so these vitamins and minerals are essential take the vitamins 
when we take vitamins there are different kind of vitamins different different kind of vitamins but you have to know here only six types of vitamins what are those vitamins vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k so these are the vitamins you should have now okay then you should know what are the sources that mean what are the food items which contain these types of vitamins so look at the chart page number 89 vitamin a what are the sources cod liver oil and liver milk butter carrots and yellow colored fruits so vitamin a contain yellow color fruits and carrots yellow color fruits vitamin a then vitamin b mostly in cereals red rice liver and also liver green leaves meat fish milk egg and green vegetables then vitamin c vitamin c containing lime naram oranges these types of fruits and also guava pepper tomato and vegetables then vitamin d vitamin d containing butter cod liver oil eggs milk and fish then vitamin e vitamin e containing wheat you know wheat and green leaves dark green vegetables and cereals then you can see vitamin e containing mostly green green leaves and green colored vegetables then vitamin k cabbage cauliflower spinach and tomato so you should know what are the sources of these vitamins so you can find out the pictures of these types of food items and paste in your writing book what are the food contain vitamin a what are the food contain vitamin d likewise you can paste these food items in page number 90 there is a table uh, it contain what are the functions of these vitamins just read those and let's go to the minerals what are the minerals minerals are calcium phosphorus iron sodium and iodine these are the main minerals we need for our body okay what are the sources calcium calcium contains in milk mostly in milk and green leaves and small fish like sprouts then second one phosphorus phosphorus contain in milk eggs cheese meat garlic small fish cowpea and carrots then iron iron contain in ginger leaf liver meat dal spinach saran and goji pollen spinach saran and goji pollen these are the leaves green leaves then sodium sodium contain in salt salt used for cooking and also meat milk and eggs contain this sodium then iodine iodine contain in iodized salt so we have to take iodized salt and mostly seafood seafood contain iodine so vitamin and minerals mostly contain in vegetables and fruits so we have to take more vegetables and fruits for our diet